Ten billion dollars were wiped out off the U.S. technology sector within the space of a month. Large U.S. technology companies have seen absolutely extraordinary returns over the last couple of decades. Companies like Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, and NVIDIA. Now, over the last month, we saw the U.S. tech sector drop from a record $65 billion in market cap to $55 billion in market cap, only to now recover about half of those losses in just four days. These are by far the most violent moves in the technology sector we've seen since 2022, a period where tech lost a total of 30% of its value over the course of a year. The U.S. tech sector went from being by far the biggest leader in 2023 and 2024, yielding a staggering 80% return over that time period, while the S&P 500 only returned 50%, to being a large underperformer through Throughout July and the beginning of August, with tech dropping by 18%, while the S&P only dropped 9%, as we had all of these recessionary concerns shake the market. And now tech stocks are recovering all of this weakness much more aggressively than the S&P 500. So was this period of underperformance just a blip, with tech stocks now ready to skyrocket higher again? Or is this just the beginning of a much larger move down in tech stocks, which would very likely drag the entire S&P 500 lower? Because these tech companies actually make up a large portion of the S&P 500. Indeed, the largest seven stocks in the S&P 500 are U.S. tech companies. Just these stocks make up 30% of the index. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we posted this video on our website called Odds of Further Tech Weakness Has Increased. And in that video, we explained why we were closing down most of our tech holdings, including Apple, Amazon, and Tesla. These are the three trade alerts that we sent out to our members pre-market. Following these alerts, the tech sector dropped by another 12% and has yet to recover back to those July 2024 levels. But many believe that this recovery is going to be short-lived and that ultimately the expensive technology technology sector is bound for the same fate as the technology sector of the late 1990s as these expensive stocks unwinded down during the 2001 recession. After all, the magnificent eight stocks have a combined P.E. ratio of 30 today. P.E. ratios are a way to measure how expensive stocks are. When we compare it to the average stock in the S&P 500, those are trading at a P.E. ratio of 18.8, so around 50% less than these large cap tech stocks. And by the way, these stocks haven't always been this expensive. In 2012, these companies had a P.E. ratio of about 13. So many believe that these expensive valuations make these stocks very vulnerable to start unwinding down, which of course should drag the rest of the market along along with them. But this is something that people have been trying to anticipate for decades now. And yet when we look at the performance of the technology sector relative to the S&P 500, we see there's been a pretty steady outperformance of tech stocks since 2006. With each slight dip that we've seen throughout this period, people have been calling for much more downside on tech stocks. But when we zoom out back throughout history, we see the only real thing that can lead to a strong underperformance in technology stocks are recessions. In the 1990s, the huge outperformance of tech stocks was only stopped when the 2001 recession occurred. Recessions leading to tech underperformance is something that we've seen many times throughout history. The only real exception to that was during COVID in 2020, where technology companies actually outperformed significantly during that period. Of course, the nature of the COVID recession made it so that these companies would thrive in that environment. So our base case today is that a big reversal in technology stocks will only come when an economic downturn in the U.S. begins to materialize. During recessions, investors switch their priority from being exposed to a maximum amount of growth, so tech stocks, to a maximum amount of security and preservation of capital. In this environment, companies that are more expensive like tech stocks decline and companies that are less economically sensitive and cheaper like utilities and consumer staples hold up better. This chart right here shows you the performance of technology stocks relative to consumer staples. And indeed, we see in the 2001 and 2008 recessions, technology stocks were underperforming consumer staples significantly. Now, over the last couple of weeks, we've definitely seen technology stocks underperform, definitely seen this type of flight to safety of technology stocks relative to consumer staples. But overall, this chart still looks like it's trending up. 
this isn't really what was happening heading into the 2008 financial crisis. You can see between October of 2007 and January of 2008, tech stocks were violently underperforming consumer staples. Of course, it could be that this chart rapidly deteriorates, but for now, it's much too early to conclude that the tech sector is going to turn into a significant underperformer. So we're not really feeling a recessionary vibe from the market yet. In fact, there's currently an impressive 75% of stocks that are trending above their 200-day moving average. So in other words, three quarters of US stocks are currently trending up. When we look at what that means going back to 2007, all of the moments throughout history where around three quarters of the market was trending higher corresponded to pretty healthy market environment. You can see in the first leg down of the bear market in 2007, this chart dipped below 50% very rapidly, showing investors had growing concerns about the economy. Of course, it could be that that happens quite quickly today. But as of now, the chart that we have in front of us shows us that most stocks in the S&P 500 are trending up. And if that environment continues for a few months, it's hard to imagine that technology stocks won't be trending higher as well. So although, as I mentioned earlier, we cut out most of our exposure to U.S. tech stocks around here, we are closely watching the tech sector with our members to see if we should be once again starting to initiate trades in this area of the market. If you're a member, of course, you'll receive trade alerts whenever we make changes to our allocation. Make sure to grab yourself a membership to our website. I teach you everything I know about how to profit from financial markets and making the right trading decisions across different types of environments, along with plenty of transparency regarding our own trading decisions.